there, how are you doing? This is Sean Collins. I just want to give you a very, very quick recap of what's going on with this whole thing in New York State and how affiliates are going to be involved in some tax implications and things. Basically, in a nutshell, back in November, Elliot Spitzer, who was then the governor of New York, wanted to get this thing going where anybody who made a, a purchase in New York, if the company they were purchasing from didn't have a physical presence there, but they did have affiliates, Elliot Spitzer wanted to collect some state tax on that, some sales tax. And so there was a lot of brush back at the time, and so he abandoned that idea before Christmas. But then he came back in February, and he decided he wanted to have another go-around with it. And shortly after that, he was disgraced with his whole scandal with hookers and things. And so I was sort of hoping the whole thing was going to die with that. And um, it didn't, unfortunately. The, I guess about um, April or so, his replacement, David Patterson, announced that he was going to move forward, and, and he was going to do this whole thing, the whole affiliate tax. And at the time, I sort of wondered aloud, I wonder if uh, Amazon's going to consider kicking out their affiliates in New York so they can avoid this, this whole fabricated tax nexus of having affiliates there. And at the time, I was sort of thinking that wasn't really probable for anybody to do that, but I was just thinking it was a possibility. Then um, come earlier this month, you see that Amazon, they um, sort of take the side of the consumer and the affiliate, in my opinion, and they sue New York, thinking that this is an unfair law and they're trying to overturn it and hopefully they're successful there. But um, so that was sort of the, the status of it up until then. Then just uh, a week ago, Overstock decided to kick out all 3,400 of their affiliates that were in New York. And so essentially they won't have to have their consumers pay sales tax, but they just basically laid off a, a sales team of theirs of 3,400 people, which I think is sort of tragic. And um, so there's been a lot of craziness in the last week about that and affiliate marketing and so ShareSell came out and said that they were going to provide some reports to their merchants about what, the, what kind of numbers they had running in New York to help them consider whether or not and hopefully not to kick out the, those affiliates in New York. CJ came out and they provided some information to the, the affiliates and merchants. LinkShare had a call going on with, uh, with the DMA to try to sort things out and talk about the implications there. And so it's sort of a, a crazy atmosphere. It all kicks in on June 1st, 2008. And that's sort of, that's where it brings us to right now. So, um, so hopefully that filled you in on what's going on, and just keep an eye on. I'll be reporting on it more at blog.affiliatetip.com to keep you in the loop on the whole situation. So there you go. Take care.